Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now on our last build, we went action adventure when we built the Bison Axe from Power Rangers Wild Force. Um, now if you missed that build, we're going to include the link to our channel's homepage in the description below so you can go over there and check out Bison Axe or uh, any of the other super cool builds there. Um, but for this build, we're going to go video games. So without further ado, ooh, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> That's right. The Impact Grenade from Star Wars Battlefront. Um, check that out, man. Gray steel. We've got the nuts, bolts, and washers in the silver metal color. We've got the red button on the top, and we've got this cool pull ring. So when you throw it, you can blow people up. Um, look at that thing. That looks totally legit. And this thing is super easy, and this is a really quick build, too. So uh, in this episode, making an EVA foam impact grenade, um, we're going to build this whole thing, we're going to seal it, and we're going to paint it all in this one episode. It's a tiny little build, but it packs a big punch. Um, super cool. And we've got the, the cool use of some uh, neoprene cord in here to get this cool little round detail there, separating the two pieces. Really jamming. Um, and as you can tell, we didn't dirty this thing up. No weathering. We kept it clean. Um, and by the way, we have a template for this too, so if you want to build along and build your very own impact grenade, you can. We'll include the link to our store in the uh, description below, so you can go over there and pick up a template if you want. Um, all right, so enough of me yapping. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, we're going to begin building the center bulk of our grenade. So we're going to take these two 24 millimeter pieces and we're going to stick them together because we need a two inch thick piece. And we're going to seal our foam before we glue, just to tighten it up and smooth it over. Alright, there we go. Give it a couple minutes, and then once the contact cement dries, it'll make contact. Alright, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out on the scroll saw. Alright, there we go. Check that out. Nice, man. Love that scroll saw. Alright. Alright, there we go. That easy. We've got a quarter inch mark around both sides and we've got a quarter inch inside okay now you've seen us do this before we're going to come in with our dremel and we're going to dremel from this line to this line and there's going to be a bevel all the way around both sides all right here we go we have our dust mask on do not be a dum-dum always wear your dust mask when you're dremeling Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted from line to line. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, now we're going to do this side. All right, look at that, man. That is nice. Bevel on both edges. Now we're going to come in with our 220 sanding stick and we are going to just lightly clean up the edge, just like that. Now we're going to bring the 320 in just to smooth it out even more. After we come in with the Dremel, and then after we sanding stick, we come in with our heat. Oh yeah, look at that. Tightens up nice. Look at that, man. That is nice. We've got a cool hockey puck with a nice beveled edge on both sides. Now we're going to be assembling to the back of here and to the back of here. Okay, now we've got this next little detail. These are three millimeter pieces, and if you see there, it says three millimeter plus cord. And what we're doing... 
All right, just like that. Now we're going to do the other one. All right, there we go. Now, the reason it says three millimeter plus cord is we are going to come in here with this rubber neoprene cord and we are going to stick this cord around these circles just like that. All right. All right, there's our mark. Okay, now this will come in and attach just like that. All right. All right, let's get a couple gloves on. We don't want to fiddle around with super glue without gloves because that stuff is nasty and I don't want my skin peeling off. Stick it down and we're going to hold it. We just want to get it started on one side. All right. See that? Real easy to get uh, to get super glue on yourself. Whoa, we got a ton of squeeze out there. See that? Got to really be careful. All right, there we go. Check it out. We got our little neoprene cord wrapped around our little piece of foam. Center our our piece. Looks pretty good. There we go. All right, dig that. Very cool, we got the 90 degree side, we got the beveled edge on both sides leading right up to our rubber cord right there. Now we're gonna come in with these two 12 millimeter pieces and we're gonna shape a piece to go on both sides. All right, All right our cut doesn't have to be a perfect 90 degrees because we're gonna be beveling with the Dremel. All right. So there we go, there's one. Let's do the other one. All right, there we go. We've got both of our discs. And now we're gonna do what we did last time. We're gonna bevel. We're gonna bevel right to this line. All right, so we're gonna get our Dremel out. We're gonna go around on an angle and we're gonna go from this base up to this line. So we've got a tapered edge all the way around these two pieces. All right, look at that. Really soft taper and a flat top. Now, the reason we did that is we're gonna come in with our piece and we're going to attach this right on there. Oh, man, look at that. What a cool effect that is. Man, is that cool. Really. All right, we come in with our 220 sanding stick. All right, now our 320. Sweet, there's two of them. Get it as close to the center as we can. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. Get it in, there we go, it's awful close. And now we're going to put pressure on it. That's swell, check that out. I love this detail right in here with the cord. That's a nice look. All right, let's move on. Okay, now we're gonna take these two pieces and we're going to cut them out and these are gonna go on the bottom of our grenade. So we've got this four millimeter piece. We'll go ahead and we'll knock out with our X-Acto real quick. We're just going to, there we go, look at that. All right, now we have this 10 millimeter piece. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come in. All right, there we go. Nice. All right. All right, there's our inner line. Now we're gonna bevel right up to that line. All right, there we go. We've got a beveled edge around the whole side of it. Let's go ahead and seal this.
All right, there we go. Okay, now here's all of our circles that are going to make up the other end of our grenade. We've got some three millimeter, we've got some four millimeter, some 10, and an 18 millimeter piece. All right, so we're going to just begin cutting these out with our really easy. All right, now we're just going to do these other three millimeter pieces. All right, there we go. There's one, three, five, and six. All right, now here is two and four. So let's move these out of the way. All right, we're gonna take two and four and we're going to go over to the scroll saw. So we've got a perfect 90 degree edge on these. All right, there we go, nice. Perfect little circles cut out on the scroll saw. All right. Okay, four, three, two, and one all have a slight bevel. All right, we're gonna come in with our sanding stick and we're going to smooth this, this edge over a little bit where we just did some grinding. All right, we're gonna bring in our heat gun. We're gonna seal all of these pieces. Right on top, just like that. And then we hold it down. There we go. Now we're just going to keep doing the same thing. In the right spot, looks like we are. And that is just a tiny bit smaller. Actually, let's, let's redo this three millimeter piece. We're going to make it just a tiny bit smaller. All right, so we're going to come in. All right, there we go. We just cut a little bit of our ring off. There is our stack right there. That's gonna come in and go right on the top of our grenade, just like that. line everything up so we're centered. Looks like we are pretty good. All right. Nice. All right. Now I'm a little bit irritated because we somehow messed up and we don't have this end piece on perfectly centered and you can tell and it's bothering the heck out of me. So we're gonna fix that. Come in in the middle perfect just like that all right simple fix came in with the box cutter slowly sliced right through cut off the old one that had the rounded edge drew a new one cut it out a little bit smaller and with a square edge and stuck it on there you go all right okay now these pieces are gonna make up all of our nuts and bolts that are gonna go around this thing we're going to spin right around the circle, just like that. Now we're just gonna cut all these out the same way. All right, there we go. There's all 11 of our washers. Slide through, just like that. All right. All right, there we go, there's 11. All right, we're going to come in with a three millimeter piece of foam. We're going. There you go. A couple spins, it goes right through, and then this comes out, and boom. All right. All right, there we go. We just got finished punching out 11 little rivets. So we've got our washer, our nut, and the top of our bolt. A puddle of super glue down. 
dip it in, set it right over the middle, just like that. All right, there we go. There's all 11 of our bolts put onto the nut, just like that. All right, there we go. And then we stick it on our blade like that so it's easy to handle. We bring it over, we center it right there. There's 11 nuts, bolts, and washers. Jam. All right, here we go. We've got all of our marks on here, spaced out properly. All right. Put super glue on. Space just like that. We're going to center it. We're going to push it down and hold it while it bonds. And there we go. Holy smokes, check that thing out. That is totally cool. All right. All right, here we go. Here is a leftover six millimeter piece of foam. This pipe is just about the size we want our button to be. So we're going to come in with our brass pipe here, our brass tube. And we are going to pop out, popped right through, in the center, just like that. And then we're going to push it down. We're going to smush it on there so that it wraps around the curve and makes total contact. All right, now we're going to come in with this little four millimeter piece and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to poke out a nice little button. There we go, spot on, right in the center. All right, now we've got all of the grenade done except the pull ring, which we're gonna work on next. All right, now we're gonna come in with our eighth inch aluminum rod. You can get these at the hardware store, and we're gonna be coming in and we're gonna be doing our pull ring, okay, that's gonna come out of the edges of here. So, here and then it is going to go right about to there. All right, so we got our measurements. All right, there we go. We just made all of our marks, all right? There they are right on the, on the metal pole, okay? This is gonna stick out to here, and then it's gonna bend at that line and come forward this way, and then it's gonna bend at this line and go this way, it's going to bend at this line and come back up this way. Then it's going to bend here and go into the piece right there. So this is the very last piece. We're going to come in with our little cutters, just like that. And we are going to take this and we are going to line up just on the inside of that mark. All right, and we are going to stand it up. Perfect. All right, there we go. This is gonna come out of the top of the grenade like that. Now bend this straight up. Let's make sure we're straight. We are. All right, there we go. It's gonna come right off of here like that. Really sweet. Looks like we might be a tad too long on our ends. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna trim a little bit of that off. Just like that. And I think we're probably in a pretty good spot right there, okay? All right, there we go. Looking good. All right, now, this has to be here and right here. All right, so here's where the hole needs to go, right here and right here. Okay, and then we're gonna drill a hole straight through here. All right. All right, now we're going to go straight through this and we're going to pop right out the other side. All right, here we go. Sweet. All right, pull it apart. Put that there. Let's put this here. Let's test it. All right, check it out. That. All right, so now we know this is going to work perfectly when we put it on. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come in and we are gonna get our heat gun out. We are gonna heat this up. We're gonna heat seal the whole thing, tighten up all the foam on it.
That is sweet. That's a grenade right there. Wow, very cool. All right, we've got our ring ready and we've got our grenade ready to go. All right, so that pretty much brings the build portion of our impact grenade to a close. All right, we're out at the spray stand. We're gonna coat our impact grenade with our Plasti Dip. And you know what we always say, even if you're outside in a well-ventilated area, do not spray without your respirator. All right, now check this out. The hole we drilled up here for where our clip is going to go, we're gonna feed this little dowel right through here, this little thin little brass pole, and we're gonna use this for when we spray. Okay, there you go. We uh, coated our impact grenade with our Plasti Dip, and yes, don't be alarmed, it is blue. <laughs> we still have some of the blue Plasti Dip that we accidentally ordered instead of the black, but uh, it won't matter because after you paint it, uh, no one's going to know what color the Plasti Dip is anyway. So there you go, cool. All right, let's leave it alone, let it dry all the way through all the coats, and uh, then we'll paint it. All right, there we go. That's uh, a few coats of our matte deep gray. It's kind of a medium gray. And um, so let's just leave this alone, let it dry, and, uh, and then we'll start painting. Bye. All right, now we're gonna come in with our silver. We're just gonna fill in all the sides and then the top of each one, just like that. All right, there we go. We've got one layer of our silver down on all of our bolts, looking pretty good. Now we're gonna come on to both ends, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the end. We are going to cut in right around this bottom piece. All right, there we go. We've got the little bottom knob silver. That is really cool. All right, so we're gonna cut in. Then we're going to do the top rim. Then we're going to go up the top. All right, there we go. This button, the top and the bottom, and all of the nuts are all done in silver. All right, now our last silver detail is going to be these little tiny strips right here, all right? So we're gonna come in and we're gonna carefully cut in on the bottom side of our neoprene cord all the way around, just like that. Then when we're done hitting the bottom, we're gonna come around and hit it from the top, just like that. All right, there we go. Hit it from the bottom all the way around, then hit it from the top and you're good. All right, there we go. We've got the silver bottom, top, the button, all of the uh, nuts and bolts, and the little round cords. All right, we've got one layer of the silver. It already looks good. Wow. And now we go back through and hit that second layer. It's really gonna be bright. All right, but while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna come in with our cardinal red. Okay, we're gonna come in. We're going to let all that dry, then we're going to do a second coat of the silver and a second coat of the red. 
All right, there you go. Two coats of silver everywhere and two coats of the red button. Look at that, man, that is cool. All right, now we're gonna come in with our awesome ring we did. All right, pull this apart. We're gonna get them both lined up around the hole like so. All right, really cool. Look at that thing, nice. All right, now we totally screwed up and we just got black on our piece. Dang it. Come in here with some silver. And some gray. All right, that easy. We touched up here and here. We'll just let it dry. All right, dig that, man. After putting the ring on, painting our black on here and doing those couple little touch-ups. That pretty much brings our Star Wars Battlefront Impact Grenade build to a close. One episode, started it, completed the build, sealed it, and painted it. Um, you saw how easy the build was, all our same techniques, man, a lot of cutting. A lot of circles, all circles. Um, that was it. Probably the most difficult part was probably, uh, you know, dealing with these little divided sections with the little little uh, neoprene cord around it, but that was totally not hard. Um, super easy build, and the paint job was easy. You saw how we uh, sprayed it with our gray, and then we came in by brush. Really easy, did the silver parts, did the red part, and then uh, painted the little black piece on the pull ring. Jamming. Um, all right, man, that's it. That concludes making an EVA foam impact grenade. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're gonna go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. <laughs> Love this thing. Thanks for coming. See you next time.